Hi, Dr. Dave here. In a recent video, I demonstrated 10 important types of safeties that you must master. Be sure to check it out if you want to work on your safety play. In this video, I demonstrate and analyze the top 10 safeties by the greatest of all time, Efren Bada the Magician Reyes. These safeties are quite advanced and really show off Efren's kicking, carom, and cue ball control skills. Enjoy! Here, Carl Boyes got a little lucky and ended up with a brutal safety, creating distance and almost freezing the cue ball to the back side of the eight. Efren's only reasonable option was to go off two rails, but a safety escape alone wasn't enough for Efren. He also cut the four with finesse, splitting the cue ball in four on both sides of the nine for a very effective return safety. Carl was obviously not very happy with where Efren left him. He also might have been a little passive aggressive, walking into the path of Efren, coming close to bumping him. Or maybe Efren was using the chalk grab move to force Carl to divert his path some to show some much deserved respect. Regardless, it was fun to watch. Here, I'm using the midpoint parallel shift system to aim Efren's two rail kick. Information and detailed explanations for all systems used in this video can be found at the links in the video description. I got pretty close to Efren's shot on the first attempt, but I sold out. This shot is touchy and needs to be hit perfectly. I got it to work after nine attempts. Again, Efren hit it perfectly on the first try in a match situation. That's why they call him the magician. Efren could have instead gone one rail at the four, but it required side spin and the need of the mount is tough to judge. Also, the shot doesn't usually lead to a good result. You can easily leave a shot at the four regardless of which side of the ball you hit. And you can really sell out by leaving a four nine combo. Efren's two rail shot was tough, but it was probably his best option. Here, Efren was playing Naoyuki Oi, who had the jump to get a hit on the one. He left Efren a look at the one, but there wasn't any reasonable offensive option. Efren thought about it a while and decided to go rail first to thin the one and hide the cue ball behind the four and five. Very creative and executed to perfection. Here, I'm using the contact point mirror system to aim the thin hit. I was lucky to get a hit on the first attempt, but it was a little too thin and I pocketed the five, which is not good because I am now hooked behind the four. After six attempts, I was able to replicate Efren's shot very closely. It helped that I was fairly close on the first attempt, but it was still difficult. On one attempt, I pocketed the five and got a look at the one. I wonder if Efren had this in mind as a possible two-way outcome. Probably not, since he executed the hide so perfectly. There are other offensive options with the ball layout Efren faced. Here, I'm using the contact point mirror system and the corner five system to aim a three rail kick to pocket the one. I am shooting from 6.8, aiming through three, to go to 3.8. Again, information and detailed demonstrations of these systems can be found at the links in the video description. This is a tough shot, and it took me 16 attempts to succeed. Another option is a jump kick. Again, I didn't pocket this on the first try, but this might be a good approach for a really good jumper. But if you can play the safety as well as Efren, there is no need to take a risk on a low percentage offensive shot. Here, John Salazar played a decent safety, but it was no match for Efren's kicking prowess. Efren went off two rails to send the six toward blocking balls while also hiding the cue ball. Brilliant. First, John should have played a more effective safety. With the cue ball so close to the six, it is easy to judge cue ball direction and speed with a thin hit. That would have made John a favorite to win, even against Efren. To recreate Efren's shot, I am visualizing the desired ghost ball position for the hit and using the midpoint parallel shift system to aim the two rail kick. That was an excellent first attempt, but not nearly as good as Efren's shot. It took me 12 attempts to get close to Efren's original shot. That Efren is really something, executing a shot like this so perfectly on his first attempt. 
It is relatively easy to judge a one rail kick here since the six is so close to the line to the pocket. Here I am shifting my standard corner pocket aim down the rail to attempt to pocket the six. It didn't work, but it was close. This is a good shot choice only if you are not good with two rail kicks. The one rail kick can often end badly. Here I left a shot in the opposite corner. I also sold out here. Although, you can get lucky and make the shot, and get a long look at the 7. And if you are a good jumper, a jump shot might be the best option here. That was a good two-way shot, where I have a shot at the 7, and I might have hooked my opponent if the 6 had not gone in. But if you can kick like Efren, the two-rail kick is a smart play. Here, Efren got a little unlucky to leave the cue ball almost frozen to the three. He decided to hide the cue ball and create distance with an after-collision Masse shot. Of course, he hit it perfectly. If you have practiced this sort of shot before, it isn't very difficult. I was able to get it to work on my second try. Options here were to hide behind the five, or hide behind the six. But the Massey shot is a far better play if you have it in your repertoire. Efren could have also been safer and more conservative with the initial shot. He could have just used outside spin to hold for the four in the side or upper corner. The runout was easy from there. But if you can recover like Efren, almost any approach works. Here, Johnny Archer played a good safety. But it wasn't good enough against the Magician. Efren kicked off two rails and thinned the two for a lockup return safety behind the nine. That was awesome. In retrospect, Johnny probably should have played a better safety. The shot was long, but with the 8 and 7 so close to the 2 and the rail, a much better safety was possible. That would have most likely resulted in a win, even against Efren. Returning to Efren's shot, I am visualizing the 2 rail kick and the desired ghost ball position on the 2. Now I am using the midpoint parallel shift system again to aim the shot. That was close, but I missed the ball. That's the risk of aiming for the side of the ball instead of a full hit. If you are off just a little, you can foul. It took me nine tries to get the shot to work like Efren's. Unlike Efren, who again hit it perfectly the first time. Here, Li Huen missed the five and got lucky to leave Efren hooked. But a close range shot like this is a piece of cake for Efren. That was a great shot, but Lee's mixed doubles partner, Saming Chen, is also good with kick shots. She didn't snooker Efren's partner, but that was a great three rail escape by the top female pro. Returning to Efren's shot, I am visualizing the two rail path and desired ghost ball position, and I again find the line of aim using the midpoint parallel shift system. Again, all systems I use in this video are described and demonstrated in detail at the links in the video description. I wasn't as accurate as Efren, but I got lucky to get a good result. Here's a hit more like Efren's shot. If you are not good at two rail kicks, here's an alternative one rail kick. To leave it safe, you need a thin hit on the five. Here, I'm aiming the shot with the angle bisect system. I still like Efren's shot better. Here, Dennis Grabe, trying to play safe, left a window for Efren to hit the one. And Efren amazingly found a way to thin the one and go behind the two for an impressive safety.
Many things could have gone wrong with that shot. He could have hit the one too full or too thin, or he could have left Dennis with a shot. On either side of the nine. It took me seven tries to duplicate Efren's shot perfectly. With Dennis's original shot, he could have played a much better safety by thinning the one more like this. And on his follow-up shot to Efren's safety, he should have instead pocketed the 1-9 combo on the side for the win. With careful aim, this shot is not as tough as it might look. But not everybody, even top pros, can play as great as Efren on every shot. Here, Nick Varner hit an awesome safety. But awesome isn't always good enough against Efren, who went off two rails to thin the one for a return safety. To aim Efren's shot, I first visualized the desired path into the one and used the plus system to get the required line of aim. I was close on my first attempt, but unlike Efren, I fouled. It took me 13 attempts to get a good safety. This was a tough one to hit perfectly, even with a good line of aim from the plus system. But not for Efren. Here, Steve Davis uncharacteristically missed the three in the corner. He didn't leave Efren a shot, but Efren was able to thin the three off two rails for a safety reply. Steve hit another good shot in return. But Efren had enough room to bank and kiss the three in. That's what great players do. Efren's reply safety was a really smart play because many things could have gone well on that shot over a wide range of hits. A really thin hit creates distance and might get the hide. Hitting a little more of the ball can also work out well. A fuller hit can also yield a good result. You can even pocket the ball and end up perfect on the four to run out. Again, Efren's shot was a smart play, even if he hadn't hit it exactly like he wanted to. Here, Billy Thorpe hit a very nice safety that would have worked against most players. But Efren isn't most players. Efren hit a long two-rail kick perfectly for a return safety. That was just crazy. I again used the plus system to aim the shot. I first visualized the desired line into the four. Then I counted the number of diamonds back to the cue ball to get the required line of aim. Again, the link in the video description provides detailed information if you want to learn more. The point of the side pocket had a small effect, but that was a good first effort. It took me 12 tries to get a leave similar to Efren's. It astounds me how accurate he can be with only one try at a really tough shot like this. Here, Mika Eminen hit a combo and left a tough shot on the one. Mika decided to play safe and he hit it well. Unfortunately for Mika, Efren got a hit with a kick Masse shot and got lucky to leave Mika with nothing. Mika then played another good safety. The level of play in this game was top notch on every shot. Efren escaped again and pocketed a ball, but he left himself hooked. No problem for Efren. He simply hit the one thin off one rail and left Mika hooked again. Mika impressively followed that up with a two rail kick to pocket the one. Unfortunately, after all this great play, he missed the relatively easy shot on the four. That must have hurt. As you would expect, Efren easily got out from there. In retrospect, which is always 2020, Mika probably should have gone for the runout instead of getting into a safety battle with Efren. That almost never ends well. 
Mika could have hit a draw shot on the 1 to draw back off the 4 for a shot at the 5. He could have also just rolled the cue ball and bumped into the 5 for a shot at the 4 in the corner. Either way, the runout was straightforward after the semi-tough one ball shot. Returning to Efren's impressive safety, I got a little lucky getting the hit and leaving my opponent hooked, but I left a relatively easy jump shot. On one of my attempts, I pocketed the one. After nine tries, I was able to get a leave like Efren's. Getting the hit on the one wasn't too difficult, but leaving your opponent with no shot, that's some good stuff. If you are an Efren fan like me, you might like one of my Efren tribute shirts. Efren is my hero, and he is most definitely the greatest of all time. This and many other shirt, mug, and cap designs are available at drdavebilliardtshirts.com. If you want to watch the original match videos to see the full context for each situation, visit the source links in the video description. Try out the shots, they're fun. It is also excellent practice in case you ever face similar situations. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on bell notifications so you don't miss the future videos I have planned as follow-ups to this one. Good luck with your game from Dr. Dave.